Welcome to another review from your boy Chips with his cool setup. Today we are reviewing Luna Lee's Duality. Now, um, I, I'm not a person for stand culture, but um, I would say if I was, I stand her. She's got unbelievable bass lines, a great voice, great lyrics. She's unbelievable, the most underrated artist I would argue working right now. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I stand by these words. I simp hard. Anywho. Anywho, who says that? Duality is finally here. Um, this thing was freaking spectacular. Uh, it's got most of the songs from her EP last year, which is fine by me because trying and 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 Flower and Full Bloom and and Cherry Pit and oh my gosh, they're all just so great. Silver and Terrain's also on there. There's so many great tracks on this thing. I have a blast just listening through it. It's it's really a good time and it's it's short and it's sweet. It's not like too long or anything. It's just like the EP. It's very it's just such a pleasant listen. It's very dreamy too, for sure. She's got some very dreamy music going on here. The last track specifically is very like, whoa, <laughs> going on. But um, yeah, no, um, <clears throat> I think that the fact that she was able to get her first full length album out this early in her career, you know, a lot of people I feel like, you know, rising up in the industry takes a while. And normally a lot of people just do a buttload of EPs which, I mean, she did do two, technically, but I don't know, I don't know, you know, most of everything from the second EP is put onto this one, though. I will say, though, that some of the songs that weren't on the EP, that were, like, brand new, that we're first hearing for the first time here on this um, album, uh, came up a little lackluster compared to the ones we've already heard, for sure. Um, maybe that's just me being like, oh, it's new, I don't like it. I'm normally not like that, though, so... I don't know, I, I, um, I found boring to be boring, <laughs> but, um, Space is a little weird, and Misery Moon is a little off my, my jam, my, my vibe, but it wasn't, like, it wasn't, I wouldn't even say they're bad songs, they're just, I don't know, some of the, some of the, the mixing and some of the decisions with the lyrics and, and everything, it just kinda, it weren't, they weren't, like, to me, as exciting as stuff on the Alone But Not Lonely EP. Like, those songs felt completely re recognized, completely realized, and finished. They were a vision. There was a vision to those. But this, um, those couple songs there, I was a little, eh, I don't know, I kind of felt almost unfinished. But, you know what, maybe I'm, maybe I'm just being, maybe I'm just nitpicking, I don't know. But they're not, I w again, I would not say they're even bad. They're just, there was just a little bit, I was, I was left wanting a little bit. Lonely slash lovely or lovely slash lonely, whatever. Um, the closing track was phenomenal though. I freaking love that song. Uh, Luna Lee is really like she's got some good stuff going for her. Um, I hope to heck she keeps grinding. You know, I hope we get another album. You know, um, hopefully with completely new material and not stuff from an EP. Which again, this is fine. She put everything from her EP. That's fine. I love that music. I love those songs. So this works great for me. Um, but yeah, no, for sure, she is great. I uh, really wish that I would have saw her when she was coming here uh, to my area with uh, Japanese Breakfast, but I unfortunately missed out on that one. But them two are like, they should make a song together. They're they're very similar, like, genre-wise and, like, music-wise. They're super similar to each other. So I'd love to see what they could cook up together if they ever do. Anyways, um... For a grade for this one, um, I pretty much said all I wanted to. Uh, I'm a little rusty on reviews here. It's been a it's been a month, guys, since I've actually made a video. So bear with me. Um, this thing I will give a seven. Anyways, thank you for watching. As I said, this is going to be the setup until um, you know I finally get to move, which is never because it's never happening, that's what it feels like. Uh, so we'll see. Anyways, 